Lynn and right now I'm on the beautiful island of Tanna. Today we are going to a local circumcision ceremony. Then we are visiting Vanuatu's largest banyan tree. So come join us as we explore the wonders of Tanna together. Is my hair okay? Meet Toby, <laughs> Valeria, Jack, Sawyer, Reese, oh. <laughs> Amani, or Mum, Angus, and myself. Go. We are staying at White Grass Resort. It's a bit windy here, but the views are spectacular. Is it the key ring? It is a key. It's a weapon. <laughs> Make sure you don't enter the room without knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go playing in Tana. Just relaxing. She needs a coconut. Where's the coconut? Coconut waiter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to ask Jack, huh? what are you doing? Sitting around? Yeah. Are you excited for the ceremony? Yeah. Do you know what type of ceremony it is? No. Okay, well you soon find out. But you, Sawyer. Come here, Sawyer. Climb the tree. I need no, no so move. I, I'm going to stop. Ah, can you try to jump up and get it? What? Oh, you can just touch it. Got it? Yeah. No, that's enough. Put them in the garden and we'll come back for them, okay? Yeah. Look, there's, that's our two. And we found there's another one here as well. On the way to the circumcision ceremony, it was really windy on the back of the year. When we arrived, we were greeted by many children dressed in colourful outfits okay. and well, Christmas tinsel as well. Come <laughs> Wow, kids. Bye, yo. There we go. Ready? Say cheese. There were lots of locals. We were the only visitors, which made this opportunity even more special. Yeah, they have to look. Do you only do this once a year? Once a year. <laughs> After a while, I was able to interview one of the elders of the village who answered a few of my questions about the ceremony. The Tana, Tana people, uh, all, all men they have to go through it. And it's type of a custom that we have to, we have to men have to be circumcised. And uh, they believe is, uh, that uh, if you are not circumcised, it means that you are unclean. You and clean or something, and uh, if you're circumcised, you, you came a man. You came a man. Uh, normally, it's uh, up to five apples, five, five years apples, you can be circumcised. Yeah, it's quite young. 
Yeah, the, and uh, it's quite hard. They have to they have to leave the parents. And uh, when out to a certain when when uh, when to another another place to be to hide to hide, then uh, like for two or three months, then uh, came back to see the parents. And these boys were circumcised and uh, been away for for about two months now. Two, three months. Okay. Three months. What is that pile of stuff over there? Uh, that pile is uh, food, like manioc, uh, cassava, yam and taro. They've been piled up and uh, given, given to their grandparents. Same. Of the boy who's being circumcised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's like a gift. Where, where, yeah, it's, it's like a gift. Where where he where his uh, where his mom come from? Parents of his mom. Okay. Mm. There were many new Vanuatan children who were supporting the family, and they were also very welcoming to us. So this is the kava plant, which is a traditional drink. Uh, four years. Four years. No, they wash all this off. They use. Well, they, they don't wash this. really. They just well, use they a knife and scrape it off the dirt. Sandal. And so there's still some dirt here, yeah. And then they, and then they put chew it. Through. Did that no, traditionally they the now they've got the crusher. Yeah, but I think here they do the chewing one and they crush it when they do the cow. The crusher comes out quite dry and then they just put water in it and that's it. And, and the that's mud. why it looks muddy. That's what I said. It's mud. Mud drink. You know why? And that's why they get a lot of worms from. And, and we need they worms for our compass bit. As more and more food was being brought out, Jack was lucky enough to have a ride on one of the carver plants. 